I'm at home on the front porch and I trade Forex futures in stock. I don't have to drive to the office every day. I don't have to put up with the boss. I'm right here at my home every day making a living trading stock. And what I want to do today is I want to show you how to do what I do. It's not easy. It takes a while to learn. And I don't know how to tell you what to do or whatever you're doing, but I do know how to tell you what I'm doing. And I've been in and out of the markets since 1979. And I can share some things with you. It's free. You can go to my website. It's Market Trader Tau. And you can read up and uh, watch these videos they're free and uh and so let's get to it oh by the way if you invest in the market you can lose money if you don't know what you're doing and sometimes you lose money even when you do know what you're doing so we'll show you how to do it and how to do it right i'm calling with my market trader tau and today we're going to be talking about chart patterns now when you when you look at a chart it has a basic anatomy and you have basically uh, five phases to a chart and we're going to be talking about the phases of a chart today and and how they relate to each other and then further on in this series we're going to be talking about triangles and and double tops and wedges and and all the other things that are attached to this basic anatomy. So let's uh, take a look at this right now. First thing we're going to look at is a, is a, is a, is a basic uh, chart. And over here, you're going to have phase one. And this is what's called a basing pattern. So this is where you know, your, 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 your stock is consolidating, is moving up and down, usually in a channel of some kind. And what you're seeing here is, is after a, char, uh, a stock bases for a while, it'll, it'll start a trend. Now, there's, when, it, when it begins its trend phase, that's called phase two. And, um, and during that trend phase, you're going to have a couple of things happen. One is you're going to have see some, some triangles and some wedges start to develop in here. And these little pullbacks right here are called corrections. Or they can just call them pullbacks. Now, that trend will move up in this direction. And typically, on an uh, average uptrend, you'll have... Uh, you'll have two, three, three peaks. One, two, three peaks on a typical uptrend. And then once you reach your top, you're going to have one, two, at least two peaks on the way down. You're going to have a drop, a small peak, another drop, another small peak, and then finally down to a new basing pattern down here. Usually those basing patterns are usually a, a, a downward pointed triangle. Sometimes they're not. And this, this area here is phase. The top is phase three. Then your, your downtrend is going to be phase four. That's when it's going down. And then phase five is the bottom on the other end. Now we're going to be talking about these different phases over the next uh, series of, 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 of charts and, and how the, the different how to recognize what phase you're in based on what type of uh, triangle or a, uh, a wedge or a pennant that, uh, that you might see and where they should be and where they shouldn't be. So sometimes you'll see something that looks like it's developing and it'll be on the wrong side of, of the, uh, the chart. 
where it's, it's supposed to be over here. So if something is not in the right place, we're going to help you recognize if, if it's not there, if it's developing, it's probably not what you think you're seeing. And, uh, but this, this is your basic beginning of your fundamental chart. And then um, on, these, on these initial, this, you have an uptrend, you'll have one, two, three, four, five parts of your uptrend. And you'll have one, two, three, four, five parts of your downtrend. Now you should be able to, on your, on your, on your larger charts, you should be able to pick these out fairly easily. Now the next uh, next video that we're going to have will be on triangles and how they work. So we'll see you next time.